looking to boost your soybean yields this year? Improving your fertilizer program is often the number one key to bigger soybean yields. But where should you place the plant food? I'll share some ideas during today's Iron Talk. With corn, one of the quickest and easiest ways to boost a fertility program is by putting some fertilizer in furrow at planting time. With soybeans, you just can't safely do a whole lot of that. Sure, you can put a gallon or two in furrow depending on soil types and other factors. However, to fertilize soybeans, you need to plan ahead exactly where you're going to place those nutrients. Here are three times that you should have equipment set up to handle soybean fertility. First is planting time. Yes, I just said you can't put much in furrow, but don't forget about using 2 by 2 placement. This is going to be very important for corn as well over the next few years. You can safely put a lot more fertilizer just off to the side if you're set up to do it in a 2 by 2 In fact, the world record soybean grower utilizes a 2 by 2 on both sides of the row and sees a great benefit. Secondly, you can apply fertilizer in a foliar application. If you have a sprayer, you can put certain liquid fertilizers right in with your fungicide, insecticide, or herbicide application. Check with your agronomist in advance, though, to see what growth stage would be the best time to do the foliar and which other treatments you can and cannot mix with it. Also, since you won't be applying huge amounts of fertilizer this way, think of foliar feeding as a way to stimulate the roots to pull up more of your soil fertility. The third time we think about soybean fertility is deep banding. We've really seen good results of deep banding fertilizer in the fall ahead of soybeans, especially on medium to heavy textured soils. You could potentially do this in the spring as well, but soil conditions often favor fall applications. You can boost your soybean yields this year, but getting set up to apply the plant food required to reach high yield goals needs to happen right now. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.